All right, guys, so this is the elephant walk, okay? Elephant walk, really good for the upper calf region. All right, you're gonna stand here with your feet, uh, either together or slightly close, either way works. Okay, now you're gonna squeeze your VMO, right, this little teardrop muscle. You're gonna think about driving your knees through the back of your legs. Okay, so you'll be in this position, then you're gonna tuck forward, going one vertebrae at a time. And then from here, while keeping your legs straight, if you can touch your toes, great. If you can touch the ground, great. If you can only put your hands here, great. If you need to use yoga blocks, great. The key is making sure that the legs stay straight. All right, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to town. We're gonna lift one leg up, all right, while keeping this leg straight. So right now, we're stretching out our left leg. I'm gonna hold for a count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we're gonna switch, right again, driving this knee back through my leg and squeezing this quad. All right, I'm stretching this leg out now. You'll feel it right here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll show with the yoga blocks, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll show with the lower blocks a little bit more down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll show the yoga blocks more even down. This is why the yoga blocks are cool because you can sort of start to scale it to your flexibility. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'll go to the floor. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so that's the elephant walk.